Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Ink Nouveau, and I am introducing a pen to you here that is not brand new, but it's new to me. It's the first time I've really handled it. Uh, it's the Platinum Carbon Desk Pen. Now, Platinum is a brand that's out of Japan, and they have a whole range of pens, everything that deals from high-end Makie and Yurushi pens, incredibly gorgeous pieces of art, all the way down to pens as inexpensive as the Platinum Preppy for just a couple of dollars. So they really range, and they can, they can service a great number of fountain pen enthusiasts. And this one services more of the I'll call them affordable uh, range of pens. So the Platinum Desk Pen is a inexpensive, uh, easy to use pen with a very, very fine nib that will work really well on just about any paper because it writes so, so fine. So I get a lot of requests from people that want to get the finest nibs they possibly can and to get a Japanese extra fine nib definitely fits that bill. It's incredibly affordable at only $12, comes with a cartridge, it accepts platinum cartridges and a platinum converter, so it's fairly versatile. And uh, it also has this little base that you can get with it to extend the utility, and it looks kind of nice, looks kind of like you know a bank, bank kind of thing going on. So it's a neat pen, and I want to show you what it's all about here today. Platinum Carbon Desk Pen comes, like you see here, with all kinds of cool Japanese on it. It's um, $12, at least here in the US at the time that I'm making this video. It comes with a Platinum Carbon Black ink cartridge. Platinum Carbon uh, is their pigmented ink. You can see here it says Carbon Ink on there. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, the neat thing about the carbon ink is it's a pigmented ink, so it performs really well on a lot of different papers because rather than absorbing into the paper, it actually kind of sits on top and dries on top of the paper. So it works really well, especially if you've got very ink resistant papers. Works well even on watercolor paper. So here's a carbon pen. It comes with this cap thing. Granted, the cap is not the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. Uh, the basic guts of the pen is right here. It's available in extra fine nib, and that's it. And I'll show you in a minute how extra fine that really is. And it's just uh, pretty straightforward. So this cartridge, just kind of stick it in here, press on it, or you can screw the back on to puncture that cartridge, and then you're good to write. It also accepts the platinum converter, which I have in the other pen here. Converter is you know seven dollars and fifty cents, so it will increase the cost of this pen a little bit. But if you already have a converter, you can use it for that. Or you know, I like to, I like to do it just because there's not a huge range of colors available with the platinum cartridges. So having the converter allows you to use any bottle ink that you want to. Bottle ink is much more cost of, cost effective as well. Excuse me. So the carbon pen is pretty straightforward. It's got this kind of calligraphy style thing to it. The cap does not post, obviously. Not that you'd really want to. I don't know. I would think that you'd want to take this cap and like hide it away out of sight as soon as possible, but it is functional. It does seal the pen and it's got a little hexagonal thing on it so it keeps it from rolling off your desk. So if you just want to get the bare bones pen, you know, it's fine just as it is like this. However, if you want to get a little more utility and a little more style, you can get this base. The base is $20 itself. It's uh, mostly plastic. It's not super heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight to it, so it's not going to go sliding around too much. It's got a little pad on the bottom, uh, and it just fits right in here. It has kind of this, you can't really see it in there, but it has kind of this cap insert in there. It's not going to be the slip and seal type technology that the 3776 Century pen has, you know, because this is a $12 pen and $20 base, so it's not going to be super incredible, but I did leave it, you know, inked up overnight, and uh, it started up just fine. I don't know how long I could leave this thing sitting in here and and see how the ink would stay without it drying out. I would have to do more experiments on that. Maybe if you have experience with that, you can post in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, this uh, does have a movement here. It's not super stiff, but it's definitely got a firm grip on it, so it's not going to fall down or anything. It's a, it's a very light pen, so you can have it have it range in motion anywhere from here to up here. You can have it go around. So it's kind of a neat little thing. I actually kind of dig it, so it's very convenient. And for me personally, I tend to have a very cluttered, scattered desk, so I like to uh, you know, kind of have something that stands out like this. I'm a very visual person, so I think I'm actually keep this pen on my desk just so I always have a pen sticking up and ready to go there, especially one with an extra fine nib. I don't have a lot of extra fines myself. It's not my personal flavor, but anyway, so that kind of covers a little bit of the basics there. 
So writing with the Platinum Carbon Desk Pen is a uh, pretty good experience, honestly. Uh, better than I thought it would have been. It's, let me zoom in a little bit here for you. It's, um, it's a really, really fine nib, really fine. So it's not anything that I would expect to be incredibly glassy smooth, but given how fine this really is, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So um, this is Rhodia number 16 dot pad paper here. Uh, these dots are five millimeters apart, and if you're familiar with any kind of ruling, five millimeters is really pretty small. So this is pretty darn small. So this is an extra fine nib. It's got, uh, it's, it's not a gusher, it's got a consistent flow, but it's definitely not incredibly wet by any means. Um, just to give you a comparison here, I've got a Lamy All-Star with an extra fine nib. So Lamy is another really popular brand. A lot of you are familiar with the Lamy extra fine nibs. Uh, so I thought it would be a good way to compare for you. Now I will say the Lamy's nib is a little bit smoother. Platinum nibs in general tend to have a little bit of tooth to them. You can probably just tell right there the difference between those two. And I'll zoom in a little bit more and show you even more detail. So here's the Lamy. Okay. And then the carbon. Desk pen. There. So that gives you a little bit of comparison anyway. I don't really have much else to compare it to because there's really nothing else in this price range that is so comparable between uh, this, this you know, Platinum Extra Fine. Uh, just because you know, Japanese Extra Fine nibs are so fine, Japanese pens in general tend to grind their nibs a little bit finer than you would get with um, a German nib. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect when writing with this pen. Then just to show you on some more absorbent paper, I've got some, this is my Moleskin journal, which has some of the worst performing paper that, performing paper that I have. Uh, this is Noodler's Black that I'm using in here. And even with that, it's gonna feather on this paper. But just to give you an idea of the Lamy Extra Fine. Now granted, there's nothing at all wrong with the Lamy Extra Fine. I'm a big fan of this pen. Uh, but this is just to compare how different these two nibs really are versus the Platinum. And you can really tell the difference. This is the same ink, same paper. You can really tell the difference when you have a more absorbent paper because this really fine nib just puts down a lot less ink than that fatter one. If you have any questions about the Platinum Carbon Desk Pen or anything else fountain pen related for that matter, you can always hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can leave a comment on Ink Nouveau or on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching today and right on.